I'm Don Crawley from SoundTraining.net, and today I'm going to talk with you about another one of my top 10 tools for IT pros. This is from the list that I published recently, which was our most read newsletter ever, so that's why I'm making videos to show you each of the tools. And it's kind of fun because I get to explore them a little bit more just so I can show you some of the things that they do. Uh, and today we're going to talk about Notepad++. This is a Notepad replacement. It replaces uh, the Notepad utility in Windows. No question we need a text editor of some sort, but boy, the one that's packaged with Windows is pretty darn limited. Unlike Notepad++, which is unbelievably full-featured, you're looking at the, the screen right now of Notepad++, and instead of going through everything that it can do, because we'd be here forever, uh, I've tried to identify five reasons why I think it's very cool and, and worthwhile to have in your tool set. So let's start with something that you can see along the left-hand edge, and that is line numbering. Missing from Notepad, but it's included in Notepad++. That alone, to me, makes it worthwhile, because that way you can reference where something is, find it later on. Number two is it's got a spell checker. Now let's go up to the plugins and I've got a text file. This is the installation for a Joomla extension called um, Akajoom and we'll just run the spell checker on it. So click on that and look at that. It automatically does spell checker. Again, not in Notepad++, but it is, or it, not in Notepad, but it is in Notepad++. We'll cancel out of that. Number three is color coding. I pulled in the index.html file from a, a classroom website that I have that I use in, in my workshops just so you can see uh, the color coding in code. So whether you are, are a coder and you work in C++ or uh, whether you do uh, HTML development or web developer, whatever kind of code you work in, you know, I know that color coding is a godsend. Missing from Notepad, it's included in Notepad++. Like they say on late night TV, but wait, there's more. It also supports bookmarks. So let's go up to search, and here you can see we can add bookmarks. Now, the uh, keyboard shortcut for doing that is Control plus F2. So if I want to bookmark, say, the script lines in this file, I can come in here and select it. I'll do Control F2, and notice that it puts a bookmark there. So now let's come down to the next script entry and Control F2, and it puts a bookmark there. Now I can go back and forth between the bookmarks by using the F2 key on the keyboard. And if I want to just clear them all, I can come up to search and choose clear all bookmarks. Number five is something that we already kind of touched on, and that is the plugins, because there's a ton of plugins available for Notepad++ to extend its functionality way beyond just the out-of-the-box functionality. For example, I added the spell checker plugin. That's something that I would use a lot, um, because frankly, I do a lot of my writing um, in text editors. So um, you'll find a lot of uh, different plugins to, to add functionality to the tool. You know, there's really a sixth reason why you ought to think about Notepad++, and that is because it's free. It's licensed under the GNU General Public License, so you can download it for free from notepad-plus.sourceforge.net. Um, and like I say, it's licensed under the GNU General Public License, so it's absolutely free. Hope you find it helpful. Hope to see you in a soundtraining.net seminar or workshop soon. For soundtraining.net, I'm Don Crawley. Have a great IT week.